Okay, this is a video that will explain how to import an XYZ file that came from Inehi, and this is an XYZ file format for a digital elevation model. So that means that the X and Y postings are constant spacing, and elevations then are ap sampled at that location. These files come in and is a package, but let's uh, op open this one. So the main thing you see XYZ there, so if you go to WordPad, you can open one of these files and have a look at it. So you see it's 57 megabytes. And the main thing is it's just XYZ. The key thing though is to see that the spacing is really uniform between these points. So let's just test that. Let's take a few of them, go to Excel, let's paste them, and then the commits we need to parse those. So let's do text to columns, delimited by space. Okay, so now here we go. So we've got the three columns. So this would be Easting, Northing, and elevation. So let's just look at some, just to explore this briefly, let's just look at the differences between each two. So if I say this minus this guy, what do I get? Five meters. So each one's five meters apart. Now let's try that with this group. Each one's zero apart. Why is that? That's because it's on an east-west line that these samples are made, but each five meters. So demonstrates that there's a digital elevation model and not a randomly positioned point cloud. Okay, so the challenge that we have is that <coughs> this file, this digital elevation model XYZ file is a text file and it's, it's a very large file, it's more than 64,000 lines and so typical ways to bring these into ArcGIS won't work. So we need to basically convert that XYZ file to a DBF file. So first thing to do is go in and um, convert, change the file name to txt. And then we're going to use our toolbox and the conversion tools to dbase. So the d database uh, table or database file can then be uh, easily imported. So let's just go find it. And the output folder, let's just put it in the same that folder. And now we just run it. Okay, so now we can see that it has completed its conversion. So now we can simply go in add data, add XY data, and go find that file right here. So the DBF file, it has about 1.7 million lines in it. Um, and one key point here is to choose X is field 1, Y is field 2. Otherwise, if you don't do that, you'll just get a line, a uh, diagonal line across, across the map. And then field 3 is the elevations. We won't worry about the coordinate system right now. So you can see them start to draw. So <coughs> basically each one is a dot. And so one could now convert this to a shapefile, for example, but that would not be necessary and be require a lot of power on the computing side. I can just zoom in here and you can see quite well the very even <coughs> spacing of the points. Okay, so now that we've got the points imported we can use in uh, the Arc Toolbox conversion tools to raster point to raster. So input features are these, uh, there's event file, the value field is the key thing is change field Z, and then the output raster format, a raster data set. Let's go up here and we'll use the same name. Let's give it out as arc binary grid. Cell assignment most frequency good, priority none. Cell size we now know is 5 meters. Okay, so it finished. Then let's go and turn off the points. And there's our DEM. And so here then, from here you could convert this, make a hill shade and so forth.